and welcome to today's video. So today I've got five healthy dessert recipes and they can also kind of be after school snacks. A few of these you might have to make beforehand, but some you could just like whip up on the spot. So these are all really simple, healthy, um, cheap. They don't take much effort to make. Lots of them are just like one bowl ingredients. Like you just mix things together and you're done. You guys really loved my school recipe video and you requested some more desserts and after school snacks so this is what this video is after making this i realized that lots of these um recipes are chocolate inspired or sweet which is kind of what you'd think of desserts anyway um but i hope you guys enjoyed these recipes let me know if you try them out and let's just get straight into it so my first recipe is going to be avocado brownies and starting off for these ones for the flour i made my own oatmeal flour so what I did is just blend up a cup of oats and you want to make sure they're like really nicely blended so you don't get like clunks of oats in there. But if you don't want to do this, you could just use regular flour like wholemeal or you could even buy oat flour. And then I added in about a third of a cup of cacao powder, use a tablespoon of coconut sugar and then mixed it together. You could also use like maple syrup or rice malt. Then I did a sprinkle of baking powder and salt and then mix that in together and then for the wet ingredients I added in a half of this really large avocado but if not then just do like two small avocados and then two eggs a teaspoon of coconut oil a little bit of vanilla and then mix that together now after doing this I realized that the batter was actually pretty small so I added in about a half cup more of the oat flour and then some almond milk and then I also added in a little bit more avocado and then just mix that well make sure there's no avocado clunks because that is not fun to bite into then I just tried to balance out the recipe and I added in some more vanilla and then moving into my favorite part of this recipe I chopped up some vegan loving earth chocolate you could use like whatever chocolate you like really. This is just my favorite. Or if you want, you could add in some like seeds or something. And then I just stirred it in, make sure it's all stirred around evenly. And then I poured it into a lined baking tray. Now at first I didn't think that this was going to like spread out much, but because these are like dense, you don't need them heaps thick. So I managed to spread them to about like halfway through the tin and they cooked pretty right like that anyway and then I put them into my mini oven on 180 for about 20 minutes until they were like crispy then when I took them out this is the most unsatisfying thing ever I couldn't like measure properly I um, just cut them up into cubes at first I thought I knew what I was doing and I was gonna cut them evenly then we get to this point you can see I'm like contemplating what to do do I make them really thin don't take my cutting advice because I clearly am not fabulous this is so uneven but yeah then just cut them up however you like and there you have it so next up we're making a layered chia pudding and so for this one you're gonna need about four teaspoons of chia seeds and then I'm not too sure how much almond milk this was I'm gonna say like a quarter of a cup or a bit more just I pretty much like as much as you want but the more almond milk you add the longer you're gonna need to let it set and then I added in a dash of vanilla then I put that in the fridge for about two hours you could also do this before school to give it enough time to like set and let the chia seeds expand then at the bottom of a cup I added in some yogurt the chia pudding gel thing and I was gonna add like another layer of joke but I was like eh can't be bothered it's too thick so then I just topped it with some fruit at that point so I did some kiwi fruit and I just grated the skin off um, if you like me and like the skin you could probably leave it on but for the sake of this video I took it off you could also use some like berries I feel like that'd go really nicely with it and then if you want to like give the chia pudding color you could also put some like raspberries in there and mix it around and let it set and then your chia pudding would turn pink and also I did this fancy thing, I put the kiwi fruit around the side and I thought that just looked a bit bougie, a bit fancy. Then I chopped up some banana and chucked that in as well. At this point I didn't really know where to put them so I just like put them in the middle. 
And then to top it off with a little bit of garnish, I crushed up some pecans and put them on top. And there we have it. So these Nutella Blissfuls are my second favorite recipe. I love them so much and they're so quick and easy. So starting off, you're going to soak about two cups of dates in boiling hot water and then leave for about 10 minutes. Then I did all of this in a blender. I added the dates in there, a cup of hazelnuts, some other mixed nuts, some chia seeds and dried fruit. They were optional, them last ones. And then I added in two teaspoons of cacao powder and blended that up. You could kind of mix in whatever you want with it, just as some like extra textures and nutrients, but they're the ones I went with for today. And this took a while, but you gotta blend them up, make sure there's no like clunks in there and then just roll them into balls. I coated mine in more cacao powder, but if you don't like things bitter, you could roll in coconut or just leave them plain. This is my new technique. You just like shape the little cup around and get some more coated. There we have it. They're so quick and easy to make and I absolutely love these ones. They taste exactly like Nutella, but better. Next recipe is some waffles. So you're going to start off by mashing up one banana. Um, I do the, like the wet ingredients first because it's just so much easier. And then you're going to split the egg and the egg yolk. However, I did this the wrong way. I was meant to put the egg whites into the white bowl, but you know what? We just went with it. So I did one and a half eggs. And then you want to whisk the egg whites um, so then they kind of get a little bit frothy. This helps the waffles to rise more and become more fluffy. Then I added in some vanilla. Three quarters of a cup of oat flour. The rest of the egg, baking powder and then some salt. And then just mix that all together, make sure it's well combined. And then I added in about a quarter of a cup of almond milk. And you could add some like chocolate chips in here or something. And then I added in some coconut sugar as the sweetener again. You could use rice malt, maple syrup. I also did some cinnamon for a bit more flavor. Then I greased my waffle iron with some olive oil spray and then poured it on. I managed to get two decent sized waffles out of this. Um, but if you want more, you can just like double the recipe or something. Because this is breakfast, I had both of them, but if you just want something light, you could put one in the fridge and then have it after school another day. And I topped it with fruit, yogurt, peanut butter, and a little sprinkle of chocolate bikinis. Again, totally optional with what you top with, whatever you fancy. And these are my healthy waffles. I love these, these are so good. And my last recipe for today is some banana ice cream. So starting off, you want to add in some frozen banana to a blender. You need to make sure it's frozen, otherwise this won't work. Then I added in some frozen berries. These are just mixed berries, so a mixture of everything. And then a little bit of almond milk. I ended up adding more than this though, because it's really hard to blend. And then I added in some chia seeds for some extra fiber and healthy fats. And this might take a while, but just blend it up until everything is combined. A food processor would work a lot better than my blender. And then I just poured it into a bowl, spread it out, and... I don't know what happened to the video of me putting toppings on it, but that just disappeared. So here we go. I used some peanut butter and granola. You could top it with whatever, really. And that was it. It was so, like, light and fresh, fruity, and healthy. It's like a healthy version of a slushie. Alright, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, found some recipes that you might want to try out. My personal favorite out of all of these was avocado brownies. They're so good and like so easy to make. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video.